Fiance and perfectionism. Three signs you are a perfectionist and what to do. Hey everyone, welcome to the Celebrity Portraits and Mental Health Awareness Series. Today's portrait is of Beyonce, who has been a known advocate for raising mental health awareness. Back in 2006, Beyonce disclosed that she suffered from depression after Destiny's Child broke up. She admitted that she lost much of her appetite and isolated herself in her room as she went through an identity crisis in order to find and reinvent herself. In, in a 2011 interview with The Sun, Beyonce admitted that she was forced to take a break for the sake of her own mental health. And now, on April 23rd, Beyonce's Be Good initiative announced that it's pledging $6 million in funding to support organizations that tackle an often overlooked element of the coronavirus pandemic, the mental health toll on communities and essential workers in particular. Beyonce's mental health struggles also includes her perfectionistic ways. The British singer, songwriter, producer Labyrinth knew what he was in for when he learned that he was about to work with Beyonce. She's a perfectionist and she's a Virgo. Virgos are serious perfectionists. Beyonce discusses the dangers of perfectionism, especially how it relates to women. It's not about perfection, it's about purpose, she said in an interview. We have to care about our bodies and what we put in them. Women have to take the time to focus on our mental health. Take time for self, for the spiritual, without feeling guilty or selfish. Unhealthy and even debilitating perfectionism is termed toxic perfectionism. Here are three signs that you might be suffering from toxic perfectionism and what you can do about it. The first sign is a harsh inner dialogue. No one is perfect and making mistakes are a natural and healthy part of life. If you have a harsh inner critic, you live through your life with a 24-7 hour bully inside of your head. Nothing is ever good enough no matter how hard you try. Self-criticism is already draining and exhausting enough. But many people who suffer from it also criticize themselves for being so self-critical. It's a never-ending cycle that will beat anyone's spirit down. One way to help ease the self-criticism is to practice self-compassion. Be kind to yourself by being mindful of the thoughts and emotions that you allow yourself to have. Specific tools such as story editing, self-distancing, and acceptance can help ease your anxiety from that harsh inner dialogue. Check out the video on these tools to silence the inner critic at the link on the top right corner of the screen. The second sign that you might be suffering from toxic perfectionism is procrastination. Many people procrastinate, but the reasons behind why a person procrastinates can vary slightly depending on each person's specific traits and fears. Procrastination shows up as a sign of perfectionism because a perfectionist is afraid to start something that they fear they cannot execute perfectly. What they do then is they would visualize all the details that they need to do so that they can do it perfectly. As they get lost in the details, they become overwhelmed by the task because the task keeps growing bigger and bigger by the moment the more that they think about it. In order to overcome this coping mechanism of procrastination, we can use a tool called chunking. Break down a task into smaller chunks, then take each chunk and break that down even further until each task is simplified and is less intimidating. The third sign of toxic perfectionism is burnout. Not every perfectionist gets stuck in the procrastination phase. Many of them will sooner or later tackle their goals head on only to find themselves burnt out from exhaustion. They underestimate their energy resources 
and overestimate the need to execute each task perfectly. In order to avoid burnout, I've, I've started to approach much of my work with the Pareto Principle in mind. The Pareto Principle is also known as the 80-20 rule, stating that 80% of the effects come from 20% of the causes. To put it toward our example with getting our work done while avoiding burnout, understand that 20% of your work creates 80% of your results. As a quick summary, the three signs of perfectionism and what you can do to minimize it is 1. Silence the harsh inner dialogue with self-compassion. 2. Avoid procrastination by chunking your task into a smaller, less intimidating task. 3. Prevent burnout by applying the 80-20 rule where 20% of your effort results in 80% of your work. That sums up the three signs that you might be a perfectionist and what you can do to help ease each one. What are your own experiences with perfectionism and how have you overcome it? Comment below. If you found this video helpful or entertaining, please give it a like and share with others to help raise awareness for mental health. Thank you so much for watching and I will see all of you beautiful souls in the next video.